Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to creating um, the box for your um, gearbox. And what we're going to do is, we're, I, this is our final product, and I want to show you a couple things about this. It looks right now like it's in an assembly. And we're going to make this a lot easier in the long run by doing it in a single part. And I'm going to show you something new with creating uh, what's called uh, new solids. So if you see, we've got all these extrusions here, but they're also separate solids. And when you do that, it, it makes it as if it's an assembly, but you can build it a lot faster and, and more efficiently uh, this way. I'm just looking at a mistake I made right there. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start this video by showing you how to begin all of this process. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the top because the top is the important part because this is where your gears are going to go. Your dowel rods are going to go through these holes. And if you look at the bottom, the bottom is identical to the top. But that way we have a perfect hole that goes all the way through so we can have our dowel rods glued in. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to I'm I'm going to turn off all of these um, uh, it's it's called suppressing a feature and I'm going to walk you through uh, just getting started today with with this little piece here. So this little part you don't have to create this exactly the same way um, I, I, in the end of uh, the PowerPoint that I share with you also I'll give you some other ideas and, and things that you can make. What is important? There are two major things that are important about this. Number one is that the holes are exactly from center to center, 51 or 52 millimeters. And that is the same as the practice we did because we're using the same gears that we did before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and I'm gonna show you the sketch that's here. Now, there are a lot of dimensions um, and you don't have to make yours exactly the same. I made mine two, uh, two inches by four inches. And uh, you, I, I don't have that other dimension, but I'll show you here. I'll just click here so you can see. This is four, okay, here. It's actually, uh, oh, it is right here. I didn't, I didn't see that I had that. That's why it's a driven dimension. So this is two by four. That's a good size for your object. So let me scoot this out too so you can see this. And um, the other thing that I did was I evenly spaced all my tabs. Now, if you make a mistake and your width of your tabs don't work out perfectly, it doesn't matter as much with this because you're, if you get your, you know, if you make a mistake and you put your um, objects in, in the wrong place, what'll happen is in the end when we, what we're gonna do what's called projecting the geometry You'll just project what's here and it'll automatically um, update with the other thing. And I think I see my problem right here and I will fix that right there. So I'm gonna scoot that back. And then I'll just make sure so you can see this is, this should be 0.125. And all of these little tabs should also be 0.125. And you'll see that that is one eighth of an inch. That is the thickness of the material that way, when you put your tabs in here, they fit perfectly inside of these little slots. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you here real quick that's very important is that these holes are 3 8 of an inch because the dowel rod that we're going to use is 3 8 of an inch, and we want to glue the dowel rod into this, um, into this box. So I'm going to hit Finish Sketch, and then I'm going to go into this extrusion so you can see I'm extruding this uh, 0.125, which is also 1 8th, 1 over 8. Okay, it's the same thing, 0.125, 1 8th. And this is now the thickness of the material for the top. Okay, and that's how you get started. Now, you, you can choose, you can see I made a bigger little tab here and a, a smaller tab here. I made a big tab on this side and this side. You need to have tabs on all of the sides and they need to be perfectly mirrored from each other for it to work the way I'm going to show you. Okay, it needs to be perfectly mirrored. All right, that is the first step. 